Vegas weather. Good morning to you. Hope you had a great Halloween. It was safe and fun. And now as we head into Friday, getting fo looking forward to the weekend, we're looking at a cold storm dropping in for the northwest, and that's what's going to have highs in the mid to low 60s. So it is going to get even colder out there this weekend. Current temperatures out there 48 degrees in Centennial Hills, 52 in Summerlin, 47 in Mountain's Edge. Around 36 in Mount Charleston, 43 in Aliante, and 48 degrees in Ellis Air Force Base. Laughlin, good morning to you guys at 54. Mesquite, 42. Caliente up at 27 degrees in Lincoln County. So it is pretty chilly up there on the northern counties. Uh, we'll be dealing with some sunshine today, though, for your Friday, at least for the first half of the day. As we get into 4 and 5 o'clock this evening, that's when we kind of see some signs of some upper level moisture moving in. And that's all going to be related to the system that drops in some rain chances Saturday and Sunday. But uh, it's going to be very hit and miss Saturday and Sunday, and temperatures will be right around the mid to low 60s for highs. So for today, though, we go 70 degrees for Friday in Las Vegas. We'll continue to knock down those temperatures, and by tomorrow morning, we'll be waking up near 50 degrees outside on your Saturday and chance for showers also bumping up just a slight bit heading into Saturday night into Sunday. So that's actually great news for all the marathon runners heading into Sunday. It looks mainly dry for the most part. A few drops in the morning hours, especially near Red Rock for the start of the race. And we'll be looking at temperatures too down in the 30s and the low 40s for runners. So it's going to be a cold one. Uh, make sure to have just any clothing you can maybe throw away old clothes. Just have the layers on and you can just get rid of those throughout the race as well. First alert satellite and radar. We got some showers up near Portland. That is the system that's going to be driving down the colder weather. Uh, right now, it is going to be staying up there over the next 12 hours. But by Saturday, I mentioned tonight, a few clouds already starting to see some of that moisture pushing in. Here it is actually uh, just passing near Reno, uh, but it'll be arriving here as we get into the later afternoon and early evening. So as you take a look at future track, this cold front doesn't really hold together that much over the Sierra Nevada range. You got to think that big mountain range, all that air is going up it, and when it starts to rain out, the system dries out, so it starts to get broken up as it gets in here about 430 on your Saturday, uh, but still dealing with a few possible showers early in the morning Sunday, and then that system pushes off. We're looking much drier into next week, Monday and Tuesday. We'll still be dealing with some of those clouds, though, into early next week. Here's your drop off in pickup conditions today. 50 degrees for a morning start, uh, so definitely chilly out there waiting for the bus stop. You want that jacket ready to go. 66 outside for an afternoon pickup. Cooler wind speeds around 5 to 15 miles per hour. And here's the next two weeks in your school edition first alert calendar. We're still going a slight shower chance on Saturday and also on Sunday. We're looking windy at times too. Sunday afternoon into the evening hours. Morning breeze is Monday and then election day is looking colder, folks. I mean, temperatures will be right around 67 degrees for a high. So if you're waiting for the polls in the morning, it is going to be a cold one on next Tuesday. 70 today, 67 tomorrow, 66 down on Sunday, so definitely getting chillier for the second half of the weekend and also next week looking pretty cold and definitely colder than average. So you can always download our free Fox Eye weather app with the rain chances on the way. You can download this. It is